Good morning, YouTube. I thought I'd do a short video today to show you a little bit uh, what my plan is for making my anvil a little more portable around the shop here. Um, I put this anvil on a piece of uh, white oak here about a year ago, and uh, it's about, a, I think it's a 115 pound anvil, judging by the, uh, the marks on it, uh, Peter Wright anvil, so it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good anvil actually. So I cut this uh, piece of log out of a uh, or my friend's house had uh, some logs in his uh, field and uh, uh, peeled the bark off and shaved it down a little bit and then attached the, uh, the anvil with some clips that I made here uh, and then lag scoot it into the, uh, uh, into the, uh, the block. Um, but the problem is it's a little hard to get around the shop and I've got to kind of roll it, you know, it's, it's pretty heavy. It's probably uh, maybe 200 pounds or so with the block and the anvil and everything a little bit more. Um, so when it's a little bit uh, difficult to horse around and get it in, in position. So I thought I'd make a little bit of a dolly. Uh, and my plan is, is to take a piece of, I got a piece of four inch by quarter flat bar. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little, a little U and then put a caster on each side, just enough so that it's just a shade off the ground that way I can put the cap spur underneath like that, tilt it back on, move it around the shop, and uh, when I'm ready to use it, I'll just take, pull the caster out, uh, and so on and so forth. So I think that'll work all right. And uh, so we'll show you that project, and we'll, uh, let's just get to it. Okay, this is a little picture of what we're gonna do here. We need to have about 20 inches on the bottom here so that the uh, block will fit there. And then we're gonna go up, we're gonna bend these up a little bit about three and a quarter inches and then five inches or so out and that's where the casters the casters will fit will bolt up right in here um, so that's the plan all right we got our first measurements laid out here on on our piece of flat bar and uh, so this is the first measurement and so this will be the flat part here for the uh, anvil I got about 20 inches from this mark over to uh, to this mark here and uh, so I left nine inches here so it'll give us a little bit left over it. I can probably trim it at the, I'll trim it at the end when I need to, but I think nine inches will give us plenty. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna score the steel a little bit through here with uh, a diamond wheel and to help it make it uh, easy, a little easier to bend. Then we'll put a weld in there uh, to re-strengthen that. And we're gonna do that same thing over here and then we'll just cut it off uh, in the uh, chop saw right here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put a score right across here. I'm going to use my diamond, my diamond blade here, which works pretty good for this. We can put a nice little score right across on the line here and then uh, grind it out a little bit. Basically create a little a V in there so that when they bend, heat it up and bend it up, it'll be a nice crisp, um, nice crisp bend. So. Okay, what we have here now is a couple uh, fairly decent uh, V-shaped grooves here on both sides. So now we'll uh, go ahead and get our, our torch and heat these up and then begin to bend them up and then we'll do the same thing where we're going to start folding it over. There we go, I think we got that side down okay, and we'll turn it around and do the other one. You can see how these make really nice bends there, and uh, we'll put a bead of weld across there to strengthen that back up, but I just think it looks a lot, a lot better. It got a nice crisp 90 degrees on there. Okay, pretty much got everything to the right shape that we need here. Uh, see, I made these bends. Uh, put a bead of weld in there 
and uh, over here and, and here as well. So those should be good. Now, uh, I'm gonna put the casters on, and I've gotta tell you, I made a little mistake, uh, but it's correctable. And if I would have followed my little directions that I showed at the outset here that had my measurements on them, would have been okay. But I kind of went off script and made an error. And the error is this. I didn't compensate to leave any uh, room for that caster. So I cut the, put the bend at 3 and 7 eighths, which is exactly the height of that caster. So that's not going to work. So I got to shim that up a little bit to get it uh, to work. So I'm going to uh, stack a few 3 8 nuts together and do that so uh, we can correct that. Uh, I don't like it, but it's what you get for not paying attention, I guess. Anyway, uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, mark these holes and center punch them and take it over to the drill press and, and uh, bore out these uh, holes at 3 8 Okay, so we got the holes drilled, casters uh, in here and shimmed up. I happen to have enough bolts uh, to make this work. They're not the right length exactly, but I happen to have enough in the uh, in my stuff to to do this. I'll probably put a little shorter bolts on it when I uh, when I have a chance to get to the store and get some. But we'll go ahead and button it up for now and give you an idea of how it works. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted right there. So we're gonna take it over here now and see what uh, how it works on the anvil. There we go. This anvil is a lot easier to move around now. I think we've got it just about right. That way it can just sit there on one edge or the other edge. And if I want to move it, like that, and we're good to go. So you can kind of see what we have here. Uh, we just tip the anvil up a little bit and slip that right underneath, and uh, then you can kind of push it around. It's hope you enjoyed the video.